In Kenya, over 14,000 people die annually due to health conditions traceable to indoor pollution, according to a 2016 UN report. About 65% of Kenyans use firewood as the source of cooking fuel, a rate that is highest in rural areas. This is a scene that is all too common here in Dunga Beach, a popular fishing village along Lake Victoria in Kisumu. Firewood is used by fishermen to dry their fish along the lake and for cooking in the small village households. You can always spot someone carrying a pile of firewood and smoke coming out of houses or rising from the fish drying activities along the beach. The use of firewood and charcoal in areas like Dunga Beach affects the Kenyan government's efforts to increase the country's tree cover from the current 6.2% to 10%. Smoke from the fuel is a threat to respiratory health. Damaris is a resident of Dunga Beach and a beneficiary of a new sustainability project which will provide the village residents with biodigesters that will allow the local community to process organic waste into valuable clean energy. The project is a partnership between AstraZeneca and the Cambridge Institute for Sustainability Leadership, CISL. Being among the first people picked to use biogas, Damaris narrates the contrast the project has brought to a household. I have seen a lot of changes since the biogas was installed because I no longer cook with firewood. The biogas is working well and even my children know how to work with it. The challenges that I had with firewood were that at times I came home from the beach late and then I had to go and fetch firewood, then come home and prepare food for the family. But since biogas was installed, I just sent the raw fish from the beach and by the time I get home I find that the children have already prepared the food. Personally, I believe that biogas is helpful and efficient, very helpful. Dunga Beach is another example of a strategic collaboration between AstraZeneca and the University of Cambridge. We know that over 14,000 people are reported to die in Kenya every year due to health conditions traceable to indoor pollution. Considering that chronic respiratory diseases are an area of core speciality for AstraZeneca, we felt compelled to take action. This also supports our sustainability strategy, where we look at the impact of health on the environment and environment on the health. The benefits to the community are varied, improving respiratory health by reducing exposure to smoke from cooking over wood-burning stoves, and also hypertension status. There will be a reduction in time taking by people in the community, particularly women and children, to collect firewood for cooking. And this time could be spent on other activities like pursuing education or income generating ideas. Sustainability at AstraZeneca is focused on three priorities access to healthcare, environment, and ethics. These priorities are interconnected to work towards our goals, and the link between environment and health is becoming clearer. The environment impacts health in many ways. At AstraZeneca, as an innovation led biopharmaceutical company, we believe we have a responsibility to address this. Climate change, air quality and water all have direct impacts on human health. The Dunga Beach project embodies AstraZeneca's sustainability agenda of using science and innovation to reduce environmental impacts on human health. The project will use an innovative local technology supplied by a Kenyan firm, Biogas International Limited, and will give residents in this village the chance to use waste materials to fuel the digesters. Hyacinth is one of the materials that can be fed into the digesters. The plant is an invasive weed that has spread on the lake and has been a hindrance to fishermen since it inhibits fishing. The Dunga Beach project will study the impact the digesters will have on the environment and local economy and provide potential insight into the effect of clean cooking on respiratory health. The project in, um, in Dunga is twofold. We have domestic biogas plants and then we have the large uh, commercial biogas systems. So it's a very, very simple tool. It runs on very, very little um, organic waste and uh, will produce huge amounts of gas. Now, Water Hyacinth is notorious. We've, they, you know, the government has spent millions, if not millions of dollars, 
uh, trying to remove the water hyacinth from the lake. We'll be harvesting the water hyacinth in the biogas digester to produce huge amounts of gas and then use the gas to offset all of the women that buy the fish from the fishermen and then they dehydrate them by deep frying them um, there right on, on Dunga Beach. So we want to manage all of that waste as well. Put all of that into the digester together with the, um, uh, the water hyacinth. So we're just going to create a, a loop. We'll be recycling everything and then the gas would be used to, to deep fry the fish. And surplus can be sold to the, 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 the numerous restaurants that are within the beach. The burden of non-communicable diseases is growing, despite the fact that these diseases are often preventable. The Dunga Beach program will provide a case study for the prevention of respiratory illnesses using innovations that tackle indoor pollution, renewable energy and health all at the same time.